Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about feet. So I wrote something on the blog a couple of weeks ago offering five tips on keeping your feet warm. And I've had lots of questions since then, so I thought I'd expand a bit. Okay, five tips for keeping your feet warm while on a bike. Or a skateboard. It'll work for anything. Okay, tip number one. Wear the right socks. Now, I know this sounds kind of obvious, but it seems to be really overlooked. I think the most important part of keeping your feet warm in wintertime is choosing the right socks. Now, there's a couple ways of looking at this, uh, but fundamentally, what you need is a good, thick pair of wool socks uh, to keep them warm. Wool is the best, merino wool is a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more expensive, but worth it. I love merino wool socks. I wear them every day of the winter. Um, but it's beyond that, there's a couple other little trips, uh, tips that work for me, is make sure those socks are really long. If they come up to your knee, I don't know the physics behind it, but they seem to keep my feet a lot warmer when they come up really high. Uh, so ski socks are great for that kind of thing. You can always find long wool socks. But I, uh, one thing I do, and lots of people disagree with this uh, because of point number two, which you'll see in a minute, um, but I often layer up my feet too. Now, I've got a really thin pair of really high wool socks. So they're nice and thin, they pull them up really high, uh, they come up to here, and then over top of that, I put a thicker pair of uh, traditional wool socks. So it's still comfortable, but I get all of the warmth in there, and that seems to work really well for me. Some people say one pair is all you need. That's probably true, um, but there you go. Make sure you pick the right socks. Tip number two, do not overstuff your shoes. So yes, you need to wear warm socks, but you want to make sure your boots are not too tight. You, need, you want to leave a little pocket of air uh, around your foot between the, your sock and the inside of your boot. Your body heat will warm that air up and that helps keep your foot warm. If your shoes are too tight, or if you've stuffed too many socks in there, you're not going to have that pocket of air and your feet will get cold much quicker. Tip number three, ditch the cycling shoes. Now I know a lot of people have these shoes and these are mine, I use them all the time. Cycling shoes are great for a lot of things. They clip into your pedal to keep your foot in the right position, which helps pedaling power and pedaling speed. Uh, they're made for uh, lightness, they're quick, they're streamlined. Usually they're not made for warmth. When your foot is tightly packed in there, it's really tough to keep it warm. Uh, so my solution, ditch the cycling shoes. Okay, tip number four. Pick the right shoes for your ride. So you've given up the cycling shoes, you've given up the idea that uh, you're gonna set some kind of personal best on your commute to work in the winter time or any kind of winter ride. I mean, riding in the winter is a bit slower anyway, so what's most important is keeping your feet warm. So what do you wear? A couple suggestions for you. If you uh, gear up for cycling and you uh, are one of those people who likes to dress athletically, get a pair of these. You know, these are like mid-level hiking boots, uh, that maybe three season, maybe fall, uh, maybe winter hiking boots. Uh, anything like that will work. Uh, these are pretty good. They're uh, uh, sleek enough that you can still ride quickly. Um, they're waterproof, uh, so I don't mind them getting wet. I don't mind them getting dirty. There's enough room to stuff some warm socks in there. And for a lot of those rides, these work really well. I wear these uh, on some rides when it gets down to about minus 10 degrees Celsius, minus 15 degrees Celsius. If it gets really cold, like really, really cold, give it all up and bring out the big guns. Just, just wear the warmest boots you've got. These are, it's important to keep your feet warm. These are great. They're kind of big and they're bulky. They're not great on the bike, but they're super warm and they'll keep me warm and comfortable and keep me going even on those really, really cold days. I've worn these down to minus 20, minus 25 degrees Celsius, even colder than that. So these are a great option. But that's if you're uh, dressing specifically for your ride. What if you're dressing for your destination? What if you need something to wear to get to work uh, and to uh, wear at work as well? Well, this is the thing that really uh, opened my eyes to this and I'm wearing them right now. It's these. These are my beloved Blundstones. You don't need to wear Blundstones, but I love these boots. Um, they're not insulated or anything, so uh, I still need to wear warm socks, but I can stuff them in there. They keep my feet warm on those average winter days and I can wear them all day at work too. So it's really key for me to find boots that I can wear on my ride and where I'm going as well. So these were a life changer for me. I wear them 
probably too much almost every day of the winter and I love them. So there you go, there's a few tips for you. Okay, tip number five. Let's call this one the bread bag hack. So I've never tried this before, but I've heard it from a lot of people. It's, uh, it's a little weird, but some people swear by it. When it's really cold and you're having no luck keeping your feet warm, get a little plastic bag, uh, maybe an old bread bag, maybe a little bag like this, and actually stick your foot into that bag and then shove that into your shoe. Now, I can't imagine how sweaty your foot would get, but if you think about it, it probably does a decent job of keeping uh, that body heat in there. So, I don't know. I've never tried it, but if you're desperate, give it a whirl and let me know how it goes. And the last thing I want to say is, don't neglect your feet. Cold toes means a bad ride. I should have said that at the beginning. Anyway, see you next time.